What's good YouTube? It's Jay here and today I'm gonna bring you a very unique video the video type that I've never done on my channel before It's going to be my top five Star Wars Empire War forces of corruption Mods that are currently publicly playable now This is gonna disclude betas or anything that's currently in testing or in development So you're not gonna see too much about mods like Yuuzhan Vong and War or any other old Republic based mods Because there's still a few out there that are actually under development It's purely gonna be based on mods that are currently playable. You can go to the Steam workshop or mod db and immediately go to playing them downloading them you know getting them installed and all that so we're going to be looking at top five mods of empire war of all time so number five on my list we're going to start off with star wars battlefront commander i have a soft spot for this mod primarily because it's arguably one of my highest viewed videos on youtube but it is so so entertaining to play the land battles on this mod the land battles feel like that authentic Star Wars Battlefront classic, like feel. You've got so many different unit types. You've got so many vehicles. You've got, I think there are like what seven or eight factions in that mod at this point. Now you got the Republic, the Confederacy, the Galactic Empire, the Rebel Alliance, and I'm pretty certain there are a bunch of other sub factions. I can't remember them all off the top of my head, but. I love Battlefront Commander. It's absolutely one of the most entertaining Maj Podge mods you could ever actually play out there. You, there's just so many units you get to like just throw at one another. It's super exciting. I'm putting it at number five only because it, it's primarily focused around the skirmish aspect. It does have Galactic Conquests. It does have space battles. But I think its most refined part are its land battles. The land battles are super entertaining to play. Highly recommended if you just want some chaos, some uh, absolute corruption mod level of chaos. If you haven't heard of that mod, by the way, I don't know what you're doing. Um, but Battlefront Commander, one of the craziest mods I've ever played. Highly recommended. I think it deserves my number top. Uh, I think it deserves my top five spot on this uh, top five list. So next mod we're going to be looking at is going to be Star Wars Republic at War. I've made a lot of content for this mod over the last like five years. Dozens of videos, dozens of playthroughs of the Republic, some few playthroughs of the CIS. I think the spot for number four belongs to this particular mod because the space battles are pretty entertaining um, and the land battles are just absolutely phenomenal. Comparable to Battlefront Commander in a sense with how chaotic they can kind of get, but in a different kind of way. Um, Republic of War has a lot of focus on its map aesthetics. If you look at Cato Nemoidia, it's literally a straight line bridge kind of map. If you look at Tatooine, you've actually got, I think it's Mos Eisley, I don't want to say so, but you've got mercenaries in that area that are trying to kill you or the enemy that's landing. You've got crate dragons roaming in a cave in the upper left quadrant of the map. You've got Tusken Raider camps everywhere. You've got Jawas everywhere. You've got speeders and droids and everything just flying about on the maps. If you look at the map, Metchus three you feel like you're actually in a foundry when you land on that map there are droids being produced in the little factories droids walking around the planet you've got power generators and power converters i think those are power converters shooting these pinkish electrical lines all over the place just just making the map feel alive it doesn't feel like just a board game where you land some troops in one spot go kill the bad guys you have to traverse the maps and you kind of get a you kind of get a like a star warsy feel for the maps they they're just so much fun to play on that every time I go back to playing Republic of War, I'm super excited to play on maps like Rodia, Tatooine, Metris 3, um, Kato Nemoidia, Kamino's. Kamino uses a base map, but the mechanics of Republic of War still fit its aesthetic so, 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 so well. Republic of War also, I'm putting it at number four, primarily because there are still a few outdated me mechanics in the game that I'm 99% certain of being worked on and being brought up to line with more modernized mods so i didn't want to give it an unfair spot that another mod could have potentially had with the more modernized mechanics it has that's not to downplay with the mod for the record there's still a lot of things to be done that i know are being worked on with the mod and i just can't wait to see in future versions that mod is so fun to play the space battles are also extremely chaotic and just a mod podge of just throwing venators everybody likes watching venators catch on fire that's just the, that's a community thing at this point everybody loves just making all the palpatine memes and just throwing armies of clone troopers at one another it, uh, not at one another but at armies of battle droids republic at war is just fun from top to bottom it's just super chaotic sometimes a little unbalanced and i'm talking about the bombers in that game my jesus the bombers are actually kind of 
just absolutely uh, insane. And like I said, it's number, it's it's biggest aspect in my opinion, it's similar to Battlefront Commander, it's just the land battles. The land battles are just super exciting. If you haven't checked out Republic of War, I'll put it in the link in the description below for its mod DB and its Steam versions. The same for Republic Com or uh, Battlefront Commander too. I'm gonna make sure all of that's in the description below. But I think Republic of War deserves our top four spot. Really, really great mod. So, for our number three spot, well. We're going to go with Awakening of the Rebellion. I'm putting it in the number three spot only because I know for a fact that they're actually in the process of completely reconstructing space battles. Um, space battles because they believe that the actual land battles are better than the space battles, which is something you never hear. Repu uh, Awakening of the Rebellion, it has its own story mechanics. It has some very, very unique galactic map scenarios where you've got choke points and then five worlds spread around those choke points um it's got three different factions obviously you've got the you've got the rebellion you've got the galactic empire you've got the criminal underworld or the black sun or whatever at this point you really want to call them the pirates i call them pirates half of the time and the bow and the ground battles again a lot of the mods i've mentioned have a lot of focus on ground battles we're going to talk about space battle based mods in a minute the ground battles are just phenomenal in this one too they're a little bit more well defined than some of the other mods I've previously mentioned in terms of balance and like RTS like flavoring if you want to call it that it feels a lot of men of, men of war assault squad too if you haven't played that older game it's a super fun land based infantry game set in world war ii kind of you know there are a bunch of bosses there's a ton of star wars mods for it that are phenomenal to play too I've been debating on actually recording some content of them but uh, Awakening of the Rebellion just feels kind of unique with its space battles, its ground battles. They all just feel like they have their own special place in that mod. They don't really feel comparable to some of the other mods I've played. You actually have to really use a lot of strategy in the space and land battles, especially if you play as the Rebellion because you start with so little. It makes you feel like you're an actual uh, upcoming Rebellion. If you've played that mod, you know the difficulty I'm talking about. That mod is hard, by the way. Um, it's... The most difficult mod I think I've ever in my life touched. I've never felt a need to just sweat and constantly have a glass of water next to me when I'm playing a certain mod. That mod drives me absolutely crazy. And I hate the devs for it, but I love them at the same time for it. I've had so many talks with uh, One Bullet and President. I think I've had talks with One Bullet about it. Mainly President about it. I want to just stab that man so much and give him a hug at the same time for creating such a phenomenal mod that's just absolutely balanced and infuriating at the exact same time i don't know how to put those two together better than that but if you haven't checked out awakening in the rebellion same as the other two mods it's going to be the links in the description below so be sure to check it out phenomenal mod really well balanced really really it makes you think i'll tell you that much my god that mod makes you think so 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 hard uh, but highly recommend it please go check it out those guys are amazing over there Next, we have our number two. So, this one was a little bit difficult to decide between this and number one, only because they're both fantastic mods. Number two on this list is actually going to be Star Wars Empire War Remake. And I know a lot of you might be asking me, why the hell is Remake in my number two slot? Well, from my experience with the beta testing and just the general, like, talking with some of the devs, there's still so much to be done with that mod. You've got land battles that don't even exist right now that are being worked on, um, and then just a whole bunch of in-game mechanics and new factions that are f rumored to come in the future at some point or another. Not necessarily rumored, but semi-confirmed, like Yuzo Vong, and I'm pretty certain that's just the biggest one we got coming up. But overall there's there's definitely a lot in this mod the unit types the graphics oh my god the graphics are phenomenal in this mod we'll get to that in a minute um but there's still a lot to be added so i didn't want to discredit our number one slot some of which some of you might be guessing is at this point um but either way anyway let's get to talking about remake right quick and why i chose it for the number two slot so like i said there's still a lot to be worked on but if you have not looked at my videos of this mod yet Go check them out. The mod's graphics are phenomenal. They make this game, this 2006 hunk of junk of a game, Star Wars Empire of War, Forces of Corruption, that I love so much, make it look like one of the most modernized RTS games of all time. It looks better than Halo Wars in some cases, I think, sometimes. If you haven't played Halo Wars or Halo Wars 2, uh, great games, check them out. But this, the, the graphics are so beautiful in this mod. It's so hard to 
to just not sit there in awe and watch a, Ven a Venator catch on fire or a Star Destroyer just go boom or a um, Mon Calamari Cruiser just burn and fall to the atmosphere of whatever planet they're hovering. The gameplay is also some of the funnest gameplay I think I've ever experienced in a Star Wars Empire War mod. I said that because it's both balanced and it's both chaotic at the same time. If you've got your enemy on the ropes, you're just going to run right through them. All ships feel like they have a role. The bombers are... It's not even good to talk about proton torpedoes and bombers. I'm looking at you, Scimitar Assault Bomber, with 16 proton torpedoes per fighter in a 18 fighter squadron. It's just, or is it 12 fighter? I think it's 12 fighter. I don't know. That's a lot of missiles to be shooting at a target. But Empire War Remake is just one of the funnest balanced mods I've ever seen in my life. It, like I said, when you got your enemies on the ropes, you outnumber them, and you know your roles of your units, you're just going to have so much fun plowing through your, your enemies. Especially as the Empire, because we all know you love your triangles of death. And Jeron and the, the, the devs at that team have just given this mod so much art that I just, I, I love it. Every single time I record a video for it or start it up on stream, just sitting there and watching it all and just looking at the beauty of it is, I, I can't explain it. It's just, it feels like you're actually in in, in a galactic, you feel like you're in Star Wars kind of. I don't know. It just it just feels so good to actually just look at that mod. Um, one of the things too about this particular mod that a lot of other mods are starting to slowly incorporate is its unique hard point system. You've got a lot of untargetable hard points on a lot of ships, but you also have plenty of targetable ones. In a sense, to make it seem more, you know, realistic. I mean, you couldn't necessarily take out all 60 or 70 turbo lasers and ion cannons on an ISD without it just taking for forever. You take out some critical key points and eventually the whole ship's just going to blow up. But prior to it blowing up, it's still going to have some functioning weaponry. It makes sense. It's, it's, a, it's an attempt at making it balanced, but at the same time kind of fair. You've got a ton of super weapons of the Empire. You've got the Eclipse class Star Destroyer, the super, the actual Executor class, and the Executor itself. You've got the Death Star. You've got the Mandator class uh, Dreadnought. It's not necessarily a Star Destroyer, I guess. I don't know. Um, then you've got the Titan class, which is literally a stealth Star Destroyer. It can literally go. It's a stealth super Star Destroyer type vessel. It can literally go invisible and travel all around the galaxy to wherever it goes. Uh, the philosophy on the units are up to what they should be. TIE Defenders are arguably the most broken unit in that entire mod next to the, the Scimitar Assault Bomber. And TIE Defenders have ion uh, cannons, proton torpedoes, anti-starfighter missiles, uh, some pretty powerful laser cannons, they're extremely fast, and they have an elite variant that's faster and just better at killing its enemies. <laughs> um, and I don't know what else to say about this mod other than the unit selection is super diverse, Especially, like I said, for the Empire, there's so many models to pick from that you want to enter a battle with, and they all have their own unique role. Um, don't even get me started about the Rebellion. There's still actually a lot of ships I'm pretty certain are going to be added back to that mod at some future point or another. Some were in there before with this recent release, and some got removed, so I don't really know what's going to happen to those older units like the... Uh, I can't remember what his name was off the top of my head, but it was like a trying... It was like a it was like a hammerhead-looking shark kind of ship that fired a ton of like missiles and protons and beetles and stuff. It was from the new Disney cannon, so... That's probably why I don't remember what it's called. So that's my own ignorance. But, and then we've got amazing ships like the Viscount or Viscount, however you want to pronounce it. I preferably call it the Viscount. Oh my God, that, that ship is beautiful. It's big, has a lot of guns, shoots a lot of ion cannons. It has a lot of ion cannons, shoots a lot of turbo lasers. It, it, it does a lot. It's a big ship. It takes up literally the entire map and it can cross map an entire space at the moment hyperspace overall empire war remake arguably my top mod it, it, it was so close to be my number one slot but i have a reason for my number one slot uh, we'll get to that in just a second empire war remake all of its links will be in the description below fantastic fantastic mod i love it and i cannot wait to see it evolve over time because there's still stuff being done to the base models like the starter is actually getting replaced with a new model because it wasn't up to the standards of what the devs wanted it to be there's a there's a lot going on with that mod man so, like I said, the top two slot goes to Empire of War Remake. Fantastic, fantastic mod. And now, this leaves us for our number one slot, which was something that took me a little bit of time to consider, but I've narrowed it down. For our number one slot of Empire of War mods to go check out that are public, I'm putting it at Thrawn's Revenge. Thrawn's Revenge is arguably the perfect mod. 
The space battles feel satisfying. Um, the land combat, while still being worked on and upgraded, isn't just the worst thing in the world, you know? The maps are still diverse. They have a lot of unique aesthetics similar to what Republic of War offered in terms of a uh, map variety. And that's something that actually came out more or less this past 2019 year. They released two versions in the 2019 year. I'm pretty certain it was two versions anyway. A lot of the land assets were upgraded. A lot of land maps were upgraded to be more unique and not just base game maps. And they feel so so fun to just just play on i love a good map where there are perfectly placed strategic areas for turrets units to take cover behind and still be able to peek over you know um, i recently did a video where we invaded sanraf 6 near the iriadu authority and they have a very unique um, tatooine-esque looking map there are emplacements where you can put vehicles to keep them kind of shielded behind walls and whole bunch of other crazy stuff i love the land battles on that on that mod honestly i know they're still working on a lot for it but every mod's kind of working on something i guess at this point but that mod is just so refined then we've got the we've got the fantastic space battles that just feel really satisfying they don't feel too broken every ship kind of feels like it has its role um it employs a very unique aesthetic in that torpedoes do not go through shields they only just damage them which is arguably makes it so certain space battles feel a little bit more difficult but it's it's not the worst thing in the world if you if you know how to use your ships right place your ion cannons on your planets um build up your defenses hardly noticeable really at times um space battles feel fantastic and then we're going to talk about the number one reason why i put this mod in my number one slide and that's the Aero system. The Aero system is the most unique system we've ever had in an Empire War mod in the, well, it'll be soon to be 14 years that this game has ever been. The Aero system essentially replaces the tech level system where when the Imperial leader dies and is based on the expanding universe from um, the old canon that Disney decanonized, uh, it's based on the system where whenever the main Imperial leader dies, Thrawn, uh, you saw the Sard, Emperor Palpatine, Dala, and eventually, I think, Galap Galapalia, but his really doesn't matter at that point. And a bunch of other sub-eras. Whenever those unique heroes die, you progress into an entirely new era where new units become available to pretty much every faction for the most part. Primarily the Empire or the Imperial Remnant and the New Republic. Some heroes go away, some heroes come back with new ships, and new heroes altogether just might appear. And... I enjoy it so much because it makes me feel like I need to find this in particular Imperial so we can move on and go into the next series of, of Star Wars. It makes you feel like you're really in Star Wars whenever you have to find this particular Imperial to go kill and, and so you can progress. It just feels like you're trying to progress through the books or the all the old expanded universe lore. And I'm a big lore fanatic when it comes to the um, old lore. Um, so every time I play this mod, I just feel like I'm literally in the Star Wars galaxy. I feel like I know these planets. I know the, the heroes that we have available uh, and it, it just feels so satisfying to just have like just to play through it really all the planets have lore that explain them there are so many planets in the mod I've actually never even personally heard of and it's just fun to read their little lore tabs about them um, that mod just makes you feel like you're in Star Wars the space battles are fun land battles are fun the arrow system is arguably the most unique system I've ever seen in, in an Empire War mod and I just I, I love it. I love feeling like I'm a part of the Star Wars universe and not just playing another slam units against other units kind of scenario. I feel like whenever I kill a certain hero, I feel like it's about to literally have an impact on the galaxy. And it kind of does because, you know, I don't like losing heroes. I, you know me. I've hogged heroes so many times in Thrall's Revenge. I have such a nitpicky thing that it makes me care about the, the units that I use. It makes me feel like I need to make sure I preserve these units. I don't just throw them away. I hate... No criticism, no hard criticism to a lot of people that play in Empire War, obviously. I hate just seeing units just get smashed together and heroes just being thrown into scenarios where you could arguably save their ships and they just they, you just let them die. I, I can't stand that. This mod makes me feel like I have to play with a mindset of I care about these characters and I want to see where they're going in the next episode or, <laughs> you know, something like that. I'm super protective over the characters in this mod and I just love it. I hate losing heroes in this mod because they, oh, and that's another thing. I hate it because they don't come back. So if, you, if a hero dies in this mod, for the most part they won't come back akbar and wedge are only two or two examples of heroes that do come back eventually because they get new ships eventually in the in the lore so akbar goes from home one to an mc90 wow i need to breathe akbar goes from home one to an mc90 eventually called the uh i think it's the galactic voyager um and wedge eventually gets to lose Kaya from rogue squadron so highly recommend checking out thrawn's revenge i'm gonna stop this video so i can breathe eventually 
Um, these are my top five mods. Highly recommend checking all of them out, guys. They are absolutely fantastic mods. Really worth the time playing, and they all kind of give you a very unique experience. So, thank you so much for sitting through this video. The links for all these mods will be in the description below. I hope you check them out. They're all absolutely fantastic mods. They have all something very unique to them. Really, really worth checking out. So, thank you so much for watching, guys. I'm going to go brush my hair now because I didn't realize how bad this was really sticking up. But, um, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. May the force be with you all. Peace.